Hello everybody, um, it's Janice and I'm back with some more layouts from 2010. Um, this was October 2010, it's a 12 by 24, so double page layout. And um, I have a border that I know I cut out from my Cricut. And um, I just cut this one straight on my cutter and then I believe these buckles down here are from Fabulous Finds, one of my favorite cartridges and this here is from from my kitchen. Um, I embossed the ice cream part of it with the Divine Swirl cartridge and these are just pictures of us. Um, this is our first year homeschooling for kindergarten and we made ice cream that day because it it went along with a book that we read called Comet's Nine Lives by Jan Bar Brett. And um, so that was one of our activities is to make ice cream. And he still talks about that day. He wants to make chocolate ice cream this time. And you know chocolate makes him crazy, so we haven't done it. Okay, um, here's a 12 by 12. And again, another one of those just candid pictures of his face that I was playing around with the camera and so I just did very sweet um, from the Simply Charmed cartridge <clears throat> that was September 2010 and then I have another um, and I, I know I'm not really telling you anything about the layout or anything I mean I don't know if you want to know um, but again, you know, I did one of those frame, I cut this frame out by just cutting in an inch from each side. But this time I put the paper behind it instead of putting it in front of it. So I put this pattern paper in the back. And then I took a strip that coordinated and just went all across. And um, then just took a little journaling block and cornered, corner rounded and added a button there. Okay, and then I cut the strawberries here out of sparkly DCWV paper. And the Berry Sweet is also from Simply Charmed. It has lots of phrases. That cartridge has lots of phrases that are perfect for titles. The same thing with Yummy on the other side also um, came from Simply Charmed. And it has these little faces and you can add googly eyes to it. I didn't do googly eyes on this side. And then this is another one from the zoo. Reptile and Amphibian Friends. And to this title, which is cut from um, Zubaloo. I remember I got it. Look, I, you can't, you can hard, this is just the kind of thing where you just, you, you learn from experience, although I really should have known better. You cannot see it. See how it just blends right into the background? This really should just be black. Um, in person you can read it, but it's really not a good... Um, this layout could be better with black lettering. And the little lizard guy here, little iguana looking guy, he's from Zubaloo. He's really cute. And he has googly eyes. They're not, they're barely Googling. But I like the way I laid the pictures out. So that's that one. And then this one, I really love the colors. I love the way I laid the photos out. I cut this from, from my kitchen, everything. All of this came from, from my kitchen. And I just cut out the word the and then breakfast club. They're not welded or anything. And then the salt pepper shaker came from, from my kitchen as well. And I added a little strip here of green coordinations paper. And I added some little brads. And um, I added glossy accents to the middle of the egg. Cute. And this was just breakfast with, this is our trip to New York that we like to take once a year. So that was the fall of 2010. And that's my husband's mom and dad and his little sister and her husband. And there are the three of us 
my three amigos right there. <laughs> okay, and then the next page, you get to see my family. And so there we are at my grandmother's apartment in New York City. That's where I'm from. And, you know, kind of simple layout, but I did do corner rounding here. I just realized I forgot to corner round the pictures. <laughs> just noticed that. Um, and then I made this flower with the Mother's Day bouquet cartridge. And I have these fuzzy looking um, brads that I got at the expo. And I really like those. I need to use them. And then some pearls and... Um, not sure where I got that border from. And then I wrote the word bisabuela in Spanish because bisabuela means great grandmother. So that's that's my mom and my son. And there's all of them. My my grandmother, my grandmother, and my mother. There we are again. So what's on the back? Okay. And then here is another. 12 by 12, I mean 12 by 24, again more New York pictures, and we are having s'mores, this was Adrian's first time with s'mores, and this came from Three Birds on Parade, and <clears throat> so did the, the title, Great S'more Great Moments, perfect title for this page. Okay, and then added some little brads that I've had for a very long time. Trying, like even then, I was trying to use up what I have. Okay, and then the stitching again is that stitching with that tool, this Cuddle Bees Bugs tool. Okay, so that's it. on the back. Okay, on the back is another 12 by 24 and that'll be the last thing I'll show you for now. There's still more pages in this book and I'm enjoying looking at them too because I haven't looked at this book for a while. So there is another page of our trip to New York. This time we were at Whiteface Mountain in the Adirondacks and we climbed the peak including my son and my and they have an elevator so some people went up the elevator I went up with my brother-in-law and my father-in-law and with my son and we climbed that peak and um, yeah it was quite the experience my, my father-in-law made it seem like oh yes 